Hello Saka fan, hi I'm Roma and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how I make my banana puff recipe. If you want to see how I do this recipe, keep watching. You know those bananas you have, they are overripe. You don't want to get rid of them and you're not in the mood for banana bread. With my friend Elsa, we both came up with recipes for which she call it save the banana. My recipe is a little sweeter and hers is more savory. It's almost like making a donut. I have my overripe one, this is really ripe, and then these all spotted, um, nobody likes them like that. And then I have some self-rising flour. Now, you can use uh, regular flour with this recipe, but then you have to add your salt and your baking powder. I'm using two cups of flour, uh, self-rising flour so if you're gonna make it with regular flour then I would add two teaspoons of baking powder okay and half a teaspoon of salt so it's simple milk one egg cinnamon nutmeg ginger vanilla and some raisins soak in some nice dark rum okay so we're just going to put everything in this bowl and first I'm just going to add cinnamon nutmeg and ginger and this is one teaspoon of each you want to incorporate that really nicely into the flour this is so easy guys and it tastes so delicious now i'm gonna put my rum rum and raisin <laughs> soaking in there you can see a little bit of rum so i'm gonna just put that in and we put the raisin into the flour I want the flour to coat the raisins so i get little bits of raisin in each bite so each little puff will have raisin in there. I'm going to crack my egg. And I want to take these little, I don't know what you call these things, but anyway. And add it to my milk. I'm using a cup of milk. So it's like I'm making a little custard with that egg and the milk. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon of vanilla so in goes the bananas so i'm saving the bananas i'm tired of them banana bread guys banana bread too much banana bread so now i'm just gonna crush these you can use a potato masher as well to crush these up but it's probably a lot faster All mushed up and next step we're just going to add that to the flour so first I'm going to go with the milk and I'm going to add my bananas now I have three bananas and you can use if you have two two is fine but you need more than one and we're just going to mix that up Now it's looking a little bit loose. So what I'm gonna do, just add a little more flour to get it, the consistency a little thicker. That's gonna make a lot of puffs. Okay, I think that should be enough. Don't wanna too much, because you want it still fluffy. So this is, I guess it could be like a fritter as well because I'm deep frying it or like a beignet. And then guys, that's it. I'm gonna let it sit now for about half an hour. Just let it come together nicely. It's gonna get thicker as it sits there and it's gonna fry up really nice. I have been heating up the oil. It's now 30 minutes later. So I have my oil. This is gonna be deep fried and I'm using a narrow pot that's deep so I don't get the splatter and they can actually sink into that. So I'm just gonna do a little test and see if it's ready yet. Just drop a in there. And not quite. I'm gonna use a round spoon. it down 
like that. Sí. So we don't want to crowd up the pot. So as you can see, I have five of them in there. If you have a deep fryer, guys, it's probably a lot easier, but I don't use a deep fryer because I don't fry a lot of foods. Uh, this is just occasionally I do this. I was talking to my friend one night Elsa, my good buddy, and uh, she said to me, sister, I have some bananas. Um, you know, I don't want to throw them. Let's save the banana. I'm going to make something with them. And I thought about it. I'm like, what are you making? She, so she's telling me what she's making. And then I said, but I have some too, but I don't want what you're making because hers is uh, savory. And I thought, oh, I know what I'll make. I'm going to try making something with mine. So I said, how about banana puffs? And this is how I came up with it. I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll make it sweet. No sugar because there's enough sugar. Actually, she said that. She said there's enough sugar in the banana. And she was correct. Uh, so no sugar in that. It's, um, I guess the only thing bad is the flour and the frying. But how often are you going to do that, right? So um, that's how I thought, oh, well, I'll make mine sweet and she could make savory. And we did it. And she said, we'll call it Save the Banana. <laughs> so I'm saving bananas. So guys, this is what it looks like when it's all done. Nice little puffs, all golden brown. And I'm just going to continue frying them. And when it's all done, I'll, guys, I'm going to come back and show you how I finish it off. our banana puffs all done before we eat it we're going to take some icing sugar and you can have this with a cup of tea your coffee a cold drink or just by itself oh we're gonna drench them my daughter wants more ah. oh these look so yummy look at these puffs Puffs, puff, puff, fritters, call them whatever you want. Just enjoy them. And I'm gonna take this one. Look at that, it's sugar on one side and I'll show you inside. Look, let's hope it has raisins in there. I'm gonna try this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yummy. Mm. Mm. Guys, this is so good. So, there's no need to waste your bananas, okay? Make some banana puffs with them. You'll really enjoy it. And you'll save the banana. So, thank you guys for watching. This was a fun episode. Until next time, have yourselves a great day and God bless.